Hello there. I'm very pleased to welcome you to this chapter about basic concepts of strategy. Well, in this chapter, we're going to have a look at the most important, I would say, concepts related to chess strategy. And let me tell you already at this point that these ideas, these concepts are linked to the very famous Russian chess instructor and trainer, Mark Dvoretsky's work. Because when I, many years ago, ran into the books written by Mark Dvoretsky, I was really impressed by his way of looking at chess strategy. And I based my own investigation on his ideas, on his concept. And what Dvoretsky in the first place would say was that any operation on the chessboard, anything that we do on the chessboard, is either something tactical or something strategical. So in the group of tactical operations, you would find things like pins, forks, and so on. While in the strategical group, you would mainly have four different kinds of actions. And that's very important to understand. Four groups, this will make it easier for us to understand what is actually strategy about. So which are then these four groups? In the first group, Dvoretsky was saying we have the improvement of the pieces. So basically, if you have, for example, a knight, you try to find a good square for that knight. It might be a protected square in the center, for example. In the second group, we would have exchanges. For example, when you're attacking, you would like very much to trade off some important defending knight in your opponent's camp. So by eliminating that defending knight, your attack would have even better prospects. So that's typical example of the second group, exchanges, peace exchanges. In the third group, you would find pawn play. And I would say maybe from the four groups, this is the most complex group because here you have a lot of different things. You can do a lot of different things with the pawns in chess, right? You can create a passed pawn, you can gain space, you can create weaknesses and so on. So this is the third group, anything related to play with the pawns. And in the fourth, last group, we have three kinds of actions which are more related to the opponent's play. And these three actions are restriction, prophylactics, and provocation. So we're restricting our opponent. We don't let them do what they would like to do. We have prophylaxis when you let them do the plans that they have thought about, but without the desired effect. For example, you protect some weak square in advance, some weak pawn in advance, so that when they are attacking it, it doesn't affect you anymore that much anymore. And the last part of this group would be provocation, where you provoke your opponent to do something that he or she wouldn't like to do. Like, you know, moving a pawn, weakening their kingside, and so on. So basically, these are the four groups. We have improving the pieces, we have exchanges, pawn play, and prophylaxis. These are the four groups which I have built this whole work upon. The following chapters are divided according to these four groups. Then we also have some other important aspects, concepts of strategy. I would say we have, for example, files, we have the diagonals, squares on the board and so on, which is of course very important. These are kind of basic layers of chess strategy. You have to understand that the open file is a good area for the rook to work on, long diagonal is is very often interesting for the bishops and so on. On the other hand, we also have some more complex topics, like, for example, dynamics. I'm sure you have heard the term dynamics many times, and I think different people have different definitions of this topic, dynamics. In my opinion, dynamics is mainly about pawn play, creating something new in the position. It might also be a specific kind of piece exchange where you exchange pieces in a way which modifies the pawn structure. Dynamic exchanges, that's what I call such exchanges. So dynamics, in my opinion, is something that brings something new in the position. You open a file, you create a passed pawn, things that have a long-term impact on the position. That's, in my opinion, dynamics. 